How you doing YouTube? This is Will from Will Development. Today I'm going to talk about working out when you're sick or under the weather. Because if you're like me, you don't admit when you're sick. Because we don't get sick. Sickness is weakness. We aren't weak. Working out when you're sick. I tried to work out last week when I was under the weather and I suffered incredibly because of it. If you recall, I'll put a picture up on the screen, but I fell while trying to do box jumps on my pallets in the back because a combination of being tired, which made me a little bit weaker because I was under the weather, and the fact that it was getting darker made me miss one, slip, boom, hit my leg, fucked me all up, could not deadlift because the leg hurt too much. And then the sickness under the weather feeling came full force into me the rest of the week, shut me down, I wasn't ready to go again until Friday just the way it happened, what are you going to do? So then the question becomes, how hard should I go when I'm sick at the gym? Well, the first thing to determine it is if you should even be at the gym or not. At some point, and it all depends on what you're sick with. At some point you need to accept the fact that you just should not go to the gym, you should not work out, because it's going to be more of a hindrance than a success to get your body moving. Your body will tell you to stop at some point. Whether it shuts itself down, it will win. I don't give a fuck how much mental power you have or think you have. At some point your body will quit and it will say enough is enough. Whether that means it makes you miss a box jump and cut your leg open so you have to stop, but then you're stubborn and you go and do deadlifts right after anyway because fuck that, I'm in control of this body. Or you decide to maybe be a little bit wiser and just say, you know what, I'm pretty fucked up right now, maybe I'll take it a little bit easier, maybe I'll just go back. Just take the day off, get a good nine, get a whole bunch of hours of sleep. Something like that. Unfortunately, these kinds of things are subjective. It's hard to give you a clear-cut black and white idea of when you should not work out because you're sick. And the unfortunate thing is normally, if you work out when you shouldn't have, you don't figure that out until either halfway through or till the damn thing's over. And you're going, fuck, that was a mistake. When it comes to working out when you're sick, I would do as I say, not as I do. I would advocate an idea of error on the side of caution. Don't push yourself more than you have to. Unless your career rests and hinges on you working out and fitness makes you, you money, take a hit to the ego, take a hit to the pride, take a day off. Now again, this is all subjective. So you need to be honest with yourself both ways. If you're just using it, your sickness as an excuse to take a day off, shame on you. Shame yourself, feel the shame, hate yourself, because it's not right. But, opposite direction is just as dangerous. If you're going harder than you should be, or if you're going at all when you shouldn't be, it's going to end poorly for you. Unless you stick to maybe lifts that aren't dangerous. Which brings me to my second point. What should you do if you're sick and you need to work out? Let's say you've moved past the idea, you've already decided, yes, it's okay for me to work out. You have objectively looked at yourself as subjectively as you can, objectively, subjectively, and decided that you are in fact capable of working out. The real question then becomes, what should I avoid in my workout? Number one thing to avoid when you're working out while sick, bench press. Why? Because if you're sick, and you've misdiagnosed yourself as strong enough to handle this shit, and it goes bad, well, when the bench press goes bad, you could die. Granted, if you're using proper safety precautions, you should be okay, but better safe than sorry, once again there. I would also avoid things that require amounts of strenuous activity in short bursts. Things like box jumps, sprints, basically avoid explosive movements. That kind of jarring of your body when you're sick is going to do nothing more than either cause you to have a headache because your blood pressure is spiking so quickly, 
and that's going to make you dizzy, which then could be dangerous, which is what happened to me the other week. So then what can I do at the gym is the real question. Take it easy. Drop your weights 8 to 80%. Your workout today was going to be 100% and the weight is at 100% of what, whatever you're planning on doing, right? Let's say it is dumbbell rows. Just make it a simple exercise, right? Let's say it was dumbbell rows. Let's say, let's, for my sake, let's just keep it easy. Let's say it was 100 pounds you're planning on doing that day, right? You're doing 100 pounds, you know, uh, on the first set. That's your warm up because you're a fucking badass, by the way. You're doing 100 pounds. It's your warm up. You're going to hit 12 reps. You know, just a good little warm up, get everything going because you're doing high volume this week, right? So instead of doing that, instead of going straight to 100, go 80%. Do 80, 80 pounds. Keep it a little bit easier. Take it back a little bit. And then progress from there. But don't go all the way to where you were planning on going. If you were planning on going from 100 to 140 by your last set, start at 80 and only go to 120. Take it easy. Don't kill yourself. Because if you push yourself, what's going to happen is your blood pressure is slowly going to raise when you're doing, uh, let's say, uh, endurance training, right? Or high volume, your, your blood pressure is going to slowly raise versus raising very quickly and then staying static there. You're going to want that, but you don't want to push yourself to the point where your blood pressure gets raised because that can instantly cause a sinus headache. It's going to make you dizzy. It's, it's a bad combination, trust me. So I guess the bottom line is at the end of the day, the, the, the real thing to mention, it, it, the real thing to note is that it's very subjective and it's a very complicated way, uh, question to give you a straight answer to of just, yes, work out. No, don't work out. There are some simple guidelines I can give you though. If you have cancer, you probably shouldn't be working out hard as fuck. Not a doctor, but if you have a terminal disease, you probably shouldn't be going hard as fuck. Again, I'm not a doctor. If you have the common cold, you can probably work out just fine. Strep throat, probably take this one off. Herpes, no I'm kidding. Seriously, there's nothing that should stop you from So if you're sick and you're still not working out, well, I can't say that, can I? If you're sick, and you've determined that you probably could work out, but decide you shouldn't, don't beat yourself up. Be honest. And if you're not honest with yourself, then what's your excuse?